was living with my papa and my step-grandmother for two years and I was living with my mom, my little sister, and my little brother before that and we were moving from place to place. I have only my mom's in my life. My dad passed away before I was born. My brother, he's, he's, in, he's not with me right now. He's in jail. My family was homeless, so like we had to move around a lot and we really didn't stay in one place. I didn't go to school. I was with my sister after she got custody of me, and so kind of a rough patch because we were going through a lot because, you know, a sister's not supposed to have the job as an adult and a parent, so kind of a really rough patch. When I first saw the home, I, ha I really didn't know what it was, but when I saw the big building, it kind of freaked me out a little bit, and I kind of thought it was like haunted, and I had no idea what it was for. My grandmother told me that this like wasn't a good part, but then when we came down, she said, oh, never mind. She like changed my mind, really. That there's probably a lot of like money involved with helping the building and a lot of fun things happen. Mostly a little bit scared and a little bit excited. I thought that there were going to be rich people here. That's what I really thought. Like, there were going to be like, rich people here, and like, I thought I wasn't going to fit in. But then again, I thought I was inside a movie because like how big it was, I didn't think it was going to be that big because whenever my mom described it, she did not tell me this. The home teaches you a lot about how to work with people and how to respond to other people as well. And like the educational wise that the home gives you, they give you really good schools. And so that can help educationally for the future and knowing things like that. That's some of the things that they help you with. And like, the trips and stuff, how to act, especially in public. It helped me with like get a better education, somewhere to live, somewhere to eat, you know. It's really helped me get through life. The home really, I didn't have a lot of social people to hang out with. I was kind of always at home or at school and I didn't get to do things that I get to do now and I was always around the same people every day. So like going to school and when I'm here, I get to meet Masons and I get to go to Tattnall and it just has helped me socialize more. Miss Janice is fun to um, talk to. She helps me when I'm having bad days or stress. The goals I want is to be able to be a better person to people and actually care about my life and want to succeed in life and not just do, do what I want to do and actually follow the rules and not get in trouble with the law. Well, I'm in a dual enrollment program, so I do half high school and half college. So half of the day I do online work and then the other half I go to Central Georgia Tech and I do automotive classes. My plans are I'm going to move to Cartersville with my friend and I'm going to try to become a mechanic, try to work at an auto shop or something. After I graduate high school, either go to college or go into the Air Force for a few years. In college, hopefully, and studying something I like, but I haven't really decided on what that is yet. I have a lot of things I can go into. Now you've met a few of our children and heard their stories. The goal of the Masonic Home is to empower every child to reach their academic, social, emotional, and career potential. Please find it in your heart to support our home.